I do believe that going forward, if the only way to control distribution costs is when the customers start paying for advice. As of now, in all these years, life insurance companies' distribution costs are higher because we're building in the cost of advice. So the, the other question that is uh, needs to be asked and with Metal asking is, is the advisor providing the value that the customer is paying by inbuilding it? So I think that is a question that everybody needs to answer and with the help of technology I think we are adding that. Also of a lot of uh, steps taken by the regulator to make sure that that advisory cost starts become related to the uh, product and to the value that is being sold. But from a long term perspective, until the customer starts getting ready to pay for the service and uh, you know we can actually, he pays for it so no individual insurance company needs to build in costs of distribution. I don't think until then any product can really become a brilliant product from a customer perspective. So going into the future, I think Anitis is the biggest uh, market and we have that's what you see overall uh, the world over. And for, for Anitis to be managed, uh, just have to put in a point and say that if you look at the investment regulations and the capital requirement regulations that govern Anitis, uh, as a company today, if I want to give uh, even a GSEC rate annuity as a guaranteed annuity, I, and I say zero expense loading, I will not put any expense loading into this product. Just by following regulatory requirements of uh, capital requirement and by following the pattern of investment that is stipulated, I will not be able to generate a return that today an LIC is offering or an adult pension yojana is offering. It's simply not possible. So if you believe annuities are the next biggest markets, I think we need to see what is it that we need to start doing in terms of investment patterns at the back end. And I don't have, for instance, Legal and General, who is our sponsor company, uh, invests in housing societies. They build housing societies and condominiums for student housing. And the returns from that are actually used uh, to pay back uh, annuities. They are the largest, single largest holder, uh, you know, shareholders of some of the leading companies and the returns on that are used for uh, annuity payouts and that's guaranteed annuities too. I think the investment uh, patterns, if I have to ask for one single thing, you asked for three but I'm going to stay with, with one. I think that investment pattern uh, on how to manage annuities is something that uh, needs to be put in.